The weekend is on deck and so is nighttime baseball from Petco Park in San Diego's Gas Lamp District. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Diego Padres. The Padres are looking to make history here today. Can they break the all-time winning streak record? We'll see right after this. Mike Clevenger gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, at first glance, he's not your ordinary looking pitcher. He's got that long flow going, those long locks. But I'll tell you what, he has a big arm, has a good fastball, good hard breaking stuff to go along with it. He's been a very solid pitcher for the last few seasons. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Piazza has a play. One down. So bases are empty with one out now. And into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Nolan Arenado is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Still no balls and two strikes. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Fouled away. Hey, he finds himself down 0-2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two-strike hitter. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire. Carlos Martinez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Ready now is Tony Gwynn as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Martinez playing here in his age 29 season. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. The next 0-2. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Q shot here out towards short. On to first, and there are two down. And in steps Matty Machado. His head to head numbers against Carlos Martinez. He's hitless in three at bats. Well, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Touche, sir. Now it'll be Paul Goldschmidt. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Swung on and missed for the first strike. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Paul DeYoung stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. One ball, two strikes. Uh, that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Oh, the old classic two strike. Let's hit high and deep out to left center field. 
Back goes Grisham for the track to the wall. And a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. No home runs as of yet, and eight runs batted in. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Now another 0-2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Here's the first pitch. The white Chopped weakly to the left. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a one-nothing lead. And another foul ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. That's ball and it's two. two balls and two strikes now. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Thomas has it for route number one. Batting fifth. The second baseman. Roberto. Alamo. First pitch on its way. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft under the tunnel. It's not easy to put the time in, but bottom line is, one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. Clearly, he's been putting in that work, and it paid off right there. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. I'm set with the 0-1. One and one. a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. The one one home. And they pitch two out here, but nothing's strike. happening. Ball two. The two one home. Swing and a liner. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. That is seven. The first baseman. Fred. Digging in now for San Diego. Fred McGriff as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. And that one yanked just foul. A ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. This is lifted out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and that. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Lane Thomas trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Popped him up. McGriff has room in foul territory. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Carlos Martinez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. That evens it up 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. A 
Another one sent foul. Hey. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Next, it'll be Tommy Edmond. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fouled off. Hey. It's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strike. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Down in. We're back now as the Padres prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. In fact, with the We're highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready with the 0-1. Trying to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. And all Molina can do is throw on to first, so the sacrifice is a good one. He tried the surprise attack there with the bunt with the runner on base. Hey, he gets thrown out, but it works just as good as a sacrifice. First offering on its way. Runner's on his way to third. In there, now the throw. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. A cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And he's safe. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Now, Tony Gwynn pitches a cold strike. The throw right. is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. And this pitch oh, hits him, but it does so after he swings through it. Bizarre sequence there. It's nothing in two. Soft liner towards short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Here's Manny Machado now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't and we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end. New inning set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. In there, 1-1. One one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Here comes the one two breaking ball swung on in the dirt and he makes the throw to first Bader is retired and there's one away well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games one this season and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Next up is Paul Goldschmidt. First time up, he went down looking. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And this is a fair ball as it heads for the Western Metal Supply Company building. 
Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to. That will have to press pause as that strike three to retire the shot. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the speed threat. Fernando Tatis Jr. That's shortstop. Fernando Tatis. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Hit hard back up the middle, and this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. And as you see right there, that will push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Just classic confidence in the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. And now in the box, Mike Piazza hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Fourth inning of a two-to-one ball game. Line drive to left. Thomas is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Well, he hit that ball no, pretty man. well. But the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half. So he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though. And that's ball one. Here's a look over to first, oh, and he'll get back in standing. The 1-0. And they pitch out Good here, ball. but nothing's Don't happening. Break. Ball two. To short. De Young's got it. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. Nope. Too high. One and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Glenn has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. The right field of the three. Dylan Carlson is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. A ball and two strikes now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder at the track, the wall, and it's gone. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitch. Lane Thomas now as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. Man this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one mostly because he's getting ahead 70 percent of the batters he's faced he's thrown a first pitch strike to. 
next 0 2 misses, and, and that'll move it to one and two now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. First pitch of the A.B. now. Carlos Martinez is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. The count now at 2-1. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's 3-1 and one now. It's amazing, I tell you. This guy's been absolutely cruising. The pitcher comes to the plate. You're thinking it's an easy out. You lose focus, let your guard down for a second. Now he's got a three-ball count. That brings in Tommy Edmund, and it's fouled away. Go for two for him to this point. Boy, Buehler, you're talking about frustrating as a pitcher. You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he that will leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Trent Grisham. Committed to that one a bit too soon as he locks him up for strike one. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Popped up. And he's retired here, one away. Next to hit, Mike Clevenger. He did his job and laid down a successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. So he got him swinging. Mike Clevenger becomes out number, number two this inning. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Here's the first pitch to him. Harrison Bader tries to bunt his way on here, but it's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. So we got him swinging. Harrison Bader goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Nolan Arenado is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Smoke toward third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d To be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Gwynn is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that will bring in the Illinois State product, Paul DeYoung. Hoo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. It's a nice job by the offensive player right there to stay in there on that fastball. He wanted it back. You could tell he was frustrated. He swung through the pitch before. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and he brings it down to end the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Tony Gwynn. The right fielder. Drill down the line. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One ball, two strikes. Opposite field to left. 
Thomas has it for route number one. So with one gone in the inning now, that brings in Manny Machado. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Now here's one high and deep to left. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this is called a foul ball. Maybe by a matter of inches that time. And now we're going to get a stoppage here as the four umpires will gather together near third base to discuss whether or not that was really a foul ball. And remember now, if there's any uncertainty, the umpires can go inside to get a look at the video feed from headquarters in New York. And I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. We'll give you a look at this from our own cameras and let you make the call for yourself. Oh. And there are two away now. Okay. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch coming. Here it is. Two runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. So a nice job there to fight off an 0-2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. So the next to bat will be back. Roberto Second Alomar. Base. He gets a shot to Robert hit here Pro. in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Throw oh. won't get him. Well, d -roll, that looked like a pretty easy inning to start all of a sudden. Two oh, outs and back-to-back -back singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on okay. it. I guess I would throw it back to you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases, or are you just trying to execute that? Well, the side is retired as they make the play. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Dylan Crossum. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Now back, left here. Lane. Lane Thomas comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in these ABs. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced so far. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt Carpenter will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Perhaps he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. That was a great hack right there. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Pure dominance on the mound as he strikes out the side in order. We're back to front. Jordan Hicks will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Jordan So here is Fred McGriff, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. And, Skied into straightaway right. Carlson is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. Next to stand in is Trent Grisham. One for two in the ballgame thus far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Mind into left center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs. 
when you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Roll, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Joe Carter will come on to pinch. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Using the slide step to try to control the running game. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. The 0-2 home. High in the air out to center field. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Ricky Henderson. He bounced out last time up. Ready, here's the first pitch. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Pitcher executed his pitch. Good sinker down and in. Got the hitter to beat it into the ground. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it as a pitcher. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. He's in at second safely as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. So next to bat will be Manny Machado. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, you don't want to be selfish, Matty. You never want to be that in a team sport, but right here, he's well aware of his hit streak on the line, and he's going to get selfish and grind this A.B. out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Henderson on third. Gwynn on a second with two down. Struck him out. You talk about pulling a rabbit out of your hat. Emilio Pagan is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Now here's the pitch. Tommy Edmund is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Fastball swung on and missed. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Again, he sends it out of play. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Henderson is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. First pitch on its way. Nolan Arenado is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. A one-two. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Line hard into left. That gets down, and the inning continues. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, D roll thing, you give up a two out base hit, extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a big league ball player that's going to give away an AB, no chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at and bat, every plate appearance. Nice job, maybe a little two out lightning start. A ball and two strikes. 
Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. You're John Gant complete. will come out and take the ball now, here as he'll be making. Number 53. And the pitch. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now back, second base into the box now, Roberto Alomar. Left side, but well fouled. So far, two for three in this one. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. And a double play ball perhaps for DeYoung. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Now to back, Mike Piazza. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on the way and a pitch one out. Up. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Alomar stands at first with one out. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. The relay, the tag, and they got him coming back to third. Next up, Fred McGriff. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys were looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Your attention, please. And the call's been made, so coming on is the bespectacled closer, Eric Gagne. Paul DeYoung will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, one and two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys yeah, yeah. in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Rounded down the third baseline. On the first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Dylan Carlson is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed. Win is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away.